moving heaven and earth. Hebrew 12 25 to 27, 25. See that you do not refuse him who speaks. For if they did not escape who refused him who spoke on earth, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven. 26. Whose voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not only the earth, but also heaven. 27. Now this, yet once more, indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken, as of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. The Lord wants our attention, and he will shake our world both literally and figuratively in order to get it. The Old Testament records that to capture mankind's interest, God moved heaven and earth. Mount Sinai quaked before Moses received the Ten Commandments. Exodus 19 18-19. God shook things up in New Testament times as well. At the crucifixion, an earthquake signaled destruction of the old way of life and establishment of a new covenant. Matthew 27, 51. Shortly afterward, a group of believers were filled with the Holy Spirit, and the ground trembled again Acts 4 31. But geological and societal turmoil aren't simply tactics of the past. God still shakes the world today. Every nation on earth trembles with concerns about the environment, plagues, health, famine, and its economy, and current issues are but a fraction of the disasters and epidemics that will take place during the tribulation. Revelation 6. At that time, judgments of all kinds will be unleashed on the earth in order to get people's attention. The Lord is sending the world a message. Mankind is not in control, because he loves us. Our Father will remove anything we've trusted instead of Him until we ultimately seek security only in our unshakable God. Does the Lord have your attention? Don't wait for Him to take drastic measures. Be sure to give Him your undivided attention each day.